Rowing is the sport of inches. You're racing over a 2,000 meter racetrack and you're trying to get your bell ball across the finish line first. It's really a game of precision, accuracy, and internal movement together. We practice hours and hours and hours and days and months at a time trying to get eight minds to think alike. They're getting eight minds to take every single stroke, the longest, hardest, most accurate, that it falls in, it comes out, you're keeping the boat in motion, you're not checking the boat, you're not stopping the boat, and all those hours and precision and time building aerobic fitness, building strength, building accuracy, is also building the movement together. When everybody in the boat is in sync, it's like a really good feeling. So I'm a coxswain on the team, so I'm the one of the ones that sits and tells them kind of what to do. So we're kind of like assistant coaches on the team. I'm sitting there and I'm watching all eight of these guys working together and watching them place their blades in the water together. And I can like see and feel how happy they are that it's working because it's so much better when you can see the motivation and see something actually coming out of what you're doing. And for me, it's a good feeling to know, hey, I like helped that happen. I helped them push harder. I helped them move the boat. It's just, I can't even describe the feeling, but when you get going by eights and you get going and it's a set boat and you're gliding along the water, it's something that no one really gets to experience unless you're in rowing, is this, you're just sitting on the water and just gliding. There's no motor. All, all the motion is from actual manpower that's moving the boat. So how's your morning going? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. I woke up much earlier than I expected today, but <laughs> normally I would wake up at like five, but I woke up at four thirty. Oh my! Time do you guys normally wake up at? Eight. Oh, I wake okay. up at like <laughs> ten. <'Cause laughs> ten. I'm I mean, I would say it's, it's definitely not easy. Usually my alarm goes off and depending on the day, I snooze it or not because sometimes it's really difficult. It takes time getting used to just the morning schedule. Over time, it becomes more routine, but being an athlete on the team, the training does catch up with you and so does school. Like having classes or labs that go like late in the evening and then knowing you still have to wake up again at 4.30 the next day to go out and row uh, and be a member of the team. Uh, it does, there are points that are really difficult, but waking up before most people, like two, three hours before everyone else in the world wakes up and getting like a really hard workout in and accomplishing something in your day before anything else has begun. Uh, it really is like empowering. You feel very accomplished, like going every day like that. And over time, like when projects come up in school or like hard classes come in, I like they're difficult, but I would say the day to day like work that goes into being an athlete on this team is more difficult than that. Guys, again, this is about 18 burning. I'm trying to get into a, like an anaerobic state here. So it's the first 200 meters, base 200 meters, sprint 200 meters. So it's like a condensed 2K here. Again, we're trying to get you rhythmically breathing at cadence. So don't spin your wheel so much that you're just panting, panting, panting. Shift into a gear, shift into a rhythm, make sure you're breathing. Remember we worked out with Anderson. All right, let's hit the catch. Have a little Attention! Go! So coming here in 2013, um, the roster had 12 guys on it and I think 14 girls, uh, which over the past seven years we've now built up to uh, just shy of 100 people in the boathouse. So we've really focused on team. And that's one, one of the big influence I think we've had in our success is that it's less about the individual and it's more about the people around you. Everyone's rowing hard for each other. And 
I'm a big culture guy. If we get a really good team culture going, I think it, it's self-sufficient. Like you can see that the boathouse more or less operates, operates itself. So I would say for me as a, a member of this team, like I, I want to be the, you know, the least important piece. I want, I want if I, you know, if I'm not here, this, the, the, it's such a well-oiled machine that it just keeps going on and going on and going on. And so it's really student run, it's really self-driven. And it takes a lot of energy to get up, set your alarm clock for 4.30 every single morning, get down here ready to go and get, you know, for a pretty intense workout from 5.30 to 7.30 and then go on to all your job uh, work you have to do and boyfriends and girlfriends and et cetera. So I really feel fortunate to be down here. And I'm really lucky I get to do my hobby and you know as a career. Attention. Don't you 